Okay, so now that we've finished the Manage Project Knowledge process in the sixth edition of the Pinbox here in the Crowd Trainings PM City training course, that's all interactive. Now I'm going to whiteboard this for a moment and show you the inputs, outputs, tools, and techniques for this process so that we can remember what is this tool about and all the, the various inputs and outputs. So let's again start with the inputs. Well, I like to draw the project management plan to be like a large filing cabinet because as you know I like to think of it as something containing a lot of different plans and so if we are trying to manage all the knowledge of our project we have to know all the plans all the components everything that's going on or should be going on or what we're planning to do all the guidance that we have that is relative to the project we should know and be able to look at now also too there could be a series of documentation throughout the project that is also going to do a lot of the same things things that we're going to reference um, things that we're going to be knowledgeable about and um, that's also going to be used as an input also too what is going on in the project like what are we building like if we are building a project that is <laughs> i don't know building a, a truck right and, or an engine of the wheel of the truck right but all the parts that let's say we we create one of the the tires of that wheel well we've probably learned a lot as we built that tire so all the knowledge that has happened from the time that we produce this tire is knowledge it's something that we've learned it's you know the the process of doing it is as well as what was been delivered all that work so those deliverables are also an input you know kind of what's going on in the project and as always we are a product of our environment so i'll draw a couple buildings here to represent the enterprise or at least the area that we have to work in and so that is our enterprise environmental factors or eef for short and then we might have various different templates and support mechanisms and uh, um, you know we don't need to reinvent the wheel every single time so I'm trying to draw this binder to represent the OPAs or organizational process assets I'll draw some other templates or maybe some computer programs that are sort of standardized within our organization that's going to help us you know take care of the information and, and help us um, you know guide us and, and give us some input now those are the inputs to the process and now how we manage the knowledge of the project if you think about your project there's a lot of things to know there's a lot to learn a lot to explain a lot to um, take in and transfer etc so how you go about doing that is probably going to depend on the project itself what you know and um, what the others on your team know and the other stakeholders and so there's going to be some expert judgment so I'm going to just kind of draw somebody um, very knowledgeable or, or being able to you know to think about or translate or being able to to manage that knowledge and so <clears throat> one is your expert judgment and then then how you and the other stakeholders in your project sort of move the information from side to side how you listen how you are interacting so if you know that term I've told you you have two ears and one mouth so you should be listening twice as much as you are <laughs> talking as if you're a good project manager you know things like the active listening that we went through and um, all those other interpersonal skills so your interpersonal skills is another one or I should say the team skills to be more precise but really you know you think about how things are interacting and moving how things are coordinated how things are uh, how meetings are being collected and, and people's voices are being heard and and everything is being captured and sh shared according to what we need for the project now <clears throat> the next two kind of go together one we have information management because if you think about all the different pieces of information that and I'm just kind of drawing little circles to represent you know data bits for where you know just to simplify things but there's a lot of information in the project you know status or where things are going or what things are happening and who's doing what and and so that information's got to fly it's got to be connected it's got to make you know 
it's got to be stored in some sort of way. Now, if we make sense of all that and categorize it and codify it and make um, uh, um, some wisdom from what's going on and being able to tap into it and connections and, and a deeper relationships, well, now we're getting into what's more like knowledge management. So we're going even a step beyond and maybe be building like a, a database or a, or a system or a tool. So I'll just draw a computer that maybe there's something like SharePoint or um, other kind of systems or um, or even let's just draw a good old binder, right? But uh, and that way we could use it for our information. But if I need to find something about your project and I am on your project, where do I go? How do I know it's the most recent version? what's important what's not and and if we need to make decisions then based on the information that's floating throughout the project we need to have it in some kind of knowledge management system however formal or informal that is obviously dependent on your project now the outputs then we should have some kind of lessons that we've learned and we should uh, be able to capture those so we have some kind of registrar now that register I'll spell it out um, that register could be typically nowadays it's uh, you know a digitized format but um, it could also be based on paper or presentations or whatever else and as we are learning this knowledge and how to capture it we should be updating the project management plans wherever they need to be updated so the project management plan and also if we're finding new templates or new systems or new ways to capture information those organizational process assets should also be updated and so uh, again I'll draw our binders this time I'll draw it on the side and our OPAs will be updated because maybe we've learned better ways to do it or system-wide throughout the other projects things have gotten better or we have a better handle on things so that is a quick reminder of the inputs outputs tools and techniques of this process and that is from the crowd trainings pm city pmp prep thanks